So this is Stephen and doing um, some more video clips for energy, for enthusiasm, for inspiration, for encouragement, for positivity. Um, positivity really is something that will connect you with the law of attraction. Positivity will connect you with the law of attraction in the most useful and working way. Um, so you really kind of want to work the law of attraction in your favor, um, then positivity really is a very important underlying, um, you know, um, thing to work with, to work on, get yourself more positive in life. Um, but this clip, I'm really excited about this clip and about this particular thought um, and about what this is going to do for me, but also what it's going to do for you. Uh, you know, it's, it's funny how we can, you know, some answers just don't appear to us and then it can be so obvious and we can be walking by the same answer all the time and we just don't see it. But this is something that has just, uh, I don't know, gained clarity in my mind. So uh, really become something that I understand or that I'm working with or the way that I'm going to approach it from now on. And um, it really is this. So this this is really, really, really love this. I really, really like this. So listen very carefully. Here are two things. I cannot and I can. Two things. Now, normally, I would think, you know, I want to get rid of I cannot. I want to get rid of I cannot. And here's the thing. That's not, not it. Here's where I'm at now. I do not want to get rid of I cannot. I can and I cannot are not, and I, I'm not really in the sense opposites. They're both really essential things. I need I cannot in my life. But what I need to do is I need to, I need to be able to dig deep enough into my life and find that I cannot. I need to, as a person, highlight the I cannots in my life. That I cannots are required. We do not want to get rid of them. We do not want to get rid of the I cannots. We want to identify the I cannots. The I cannots are like a, the wall. They're like a real physical wall, but they're in your mind. So they're like a mental wall, but they, they have a physical substance to them. They are real things. And normally what happens is we leave the I can't, cannot. We just um, cover them over. We don't highlight. We leave them in our minds and we never, ever jump the I cannot. We leave those walls there. We maybe see it um, briefly and then we turn around and we face another direction. We just... Uh, it keeps us in, it keeps us inside a box. The I cannots are there. Um, but the I cannots really are essential if we are to map our own progress, if we are to benchmark our growth, if we are to benchmark our movement through life, then we need I cannots. It's like if we were climbing the mountain, um, the I cannot is like each um you know each brick above us that we are holding on to it's the i cannot is that and then the i can is an energy the i can is an energy it's not like the wall the i cannot it's an energy when we highlight the i cannot when we've highlighted it when we've identified it then we find this energy of i can we dig in we find the I can, that is an energy. And with that energy, we jump that wall. We climb that wall. We break through that wall. That's what the I can is. The I can is the energy to break through that. Because I've often thought, you know, sometimes we just don't have this uh, want of being much more. And not because there's a lack of it, but because... You know, we intuitively, we feel intuitively a backing down quicker. We feel this intuitive backing down. When we look at the I cannot, when we see the wall, when we identify the wall, immediately, for many of us, the first thing we do is we just start backing down. 
we start backing down, we start taking steps back to who we were, to, to that comfort zone perhaps, um, or you know, back to that same place. And then we ask, we, we feel a bit unhappy in that place, that unhappiness in that old place continues. And we think to ourselves, we go through this um, habit of, you know, backing down, going back to that same place. And then the next couple of days, we feel really unhappy again. And we are, we're getting nowhere in life. Why does our life never take shape? Why does our life never take form? Because we keep backing down. We just, intuit, we feel intuitively the back down quicker. And we just give up on that. And that's, that's what I'm looking at today. So, so we're working with this. I can. Now, the second thing I want to talk about is pointless shit, pointless stuff. Now, I, I do a lot of work with like life purpose coaching or I, I read a lot of stuff. I'm working a lot, a lot of ideas and life purpose coaching, life purpose material, life purpose stuff. And, you know, I would often have said to people in the past, if you're spending some money, you need to spend it really wisely. So, you know, there's a good choice. So um, there's where to invest your energy or your money or whatever that is. And there's where not to. There's the waste of money. Now, I was talking about this just recently. There is no waste of money. So from this point forward, I do not believe that there is a waste of money. There is not a waste of money. All choices are good choices. It's just that some choices are better choices than other than others. And some choices might lead you down a very strange, awkward path. And some choices will lead you up a very easy, exciting, stimulating path. So there is not a waste of money. First bad idea, there's a waste of money. There is not a waste of money. And pointless, doing pointless stuff is pointless not true either not true either people are not supposed to grow straight up and down if i always did the things that are appropriate to me as a person as a character or appropriate to my personality if i was a plant i'd be growing straight up and down that's not good for me people are like trees they need to grow their roots out and through the earth through the material through the substance between beneath them and they need to grow their branches out and up, uh, out um above them out through the air above them and that's what pointless shit sometimes is we need to extend our beings into stuff that just wasn't us that is just pure pointless because actually let me tell you a really big secret this is a really important thing is that Pointless things in your life have more influence in your destiny than the purposeful things, than the things you do on point. If we are to look at somebody's life, if we were to take a person's life as a sentence, then for many, many people, those sentences are, are somewhat predictable because they always did things appropriate to them. They were always... Um, just reiterating who they were but the most exciting people the stimulating people that stimulation that feeling of stimulation stimulation in your thoughts and your feelings and your being stimulation is doing pointless stuff sometimes it's being in the unexpected places sometimes is being um, involved in an unexpected situation sometimes, is meeting people that wouldn't normally be your types of people. That is your branches, that is branching out, that is broadening your horizons. And that is a really, you know, I, I'm really gonna work on this next year is that I think, you know, there's, there's so many good places to do courses these days, like, uh, all right, they might just be introductions to things um, and they might not make you a master or an expert um, and by paying like £40 or something. But we are in such a vibrant... Um, but you know, we are in such a vibrant, um, you know, such a nourishment time. And my thing next year is I'm going to start doing more pointless shit and start really learning about some really pointless things because actually that's probably more nourishment more nourishing for me than doing the same old stuff 
it's just making me so predictable. Um, so I'm going to do that. And um, I think that's such a good thing. And with a law of attraction, that seems to be the right direction. It seems to be the branches. If I'm sending myself out intuitively, I want to move through branches. I want to be able to move through options. If I was moving myself through my being, through my lifetime, I want to be able to feel the options. I want to be able to have options and not necessarily be a predictability. So pointless stuff really actually is, is a really useful thing to become involved with. So the two things, just to go back over that, is <coughs> I can and I cannot. Um, I cannot, we need that for benchmarking our lives. We need the I cannots in our lives. We need the I cannots. If you're saying I cannot, great. I love it. I want to hear you saying I cannot. I want to hear you saying I cannot. I cannot do this. I cannot do this. I cannot do this. I want to hear you saying I cannot. I don't want you to avoid saying I cannot. I don't want you just to cover that over with leaves and leave it buried. I want you to say I cannot. And then I want you to identify and, and realize that your I cannot is a wall. You have just done a really amazing thing and you have realized what you cannot. And now you're going to bring in that energy of I can and you're going to jump that wall. You're going to break through that wall. You're going to move yourself further down that map because you can. Because you can. Because I can. My energy can flow anywhere. My energy can flow anywhere. My energy can flow energy uh, anywhere. My energy can flow anywhere. My energy can flow anywhere. Remember that one. So my energy can flow through this cannot. And pointless stuff. Let's do more pointless stuff. And let's see how stimulated you feel by pointless stuff. The novelty. Novelty. That feeling of novel. Newness. Newness. That novel feeling is sometimes really pointless stuff that has just become mixed up in your life. So in order to create a stronger, happier life purpose, a life purpose, purposeful stuff, start doing pointless stuff. And pointless really is a powerful magic. Pointless is a powerful magic. Let's start doing some really pointless stuff. And let's stop second guessing ourselves as, you know, a person's going to judge me this way if I do this pointless thing. So let's get pointless. So I really, really like this. I really like the energy on this. And um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to the results for this. So if you if you try this out, if you get some really good results, if you've got something on that, if, you, if you've tried some pointless stuff and it's really made your day, made your day or changed your direction, then, then let me know because these are the stories my ears are pinned to hear. So, um, yeah, and you can do this. I'm going to keep encouraging you until you break those walls. Have a great day.